The Dawn Gate opens. Hello and welcome. My name's Huss and this is another Dawngate video. Now I'm just quickly gonna run all the way over here because haste is of the importance. Now that I mention it, let's make sure they're actually awarding our haste buff in the middle. It's all carefully themed what I'm saying here. So um, if you are a bit confused by terms such as shaper or haste or jungler or in general just aren't that familiar to Dawngate, then check out my previously made preview of the game that should give you all the basics and the current status of the game so you know what is up. So the reason we're going all the way over here is because we are playing the hunter role this time. We're going to do a little bit of jungling and we started on the spirit side. There's of course two sides in Dawngate, spirit and mortal. Uh, we're playing the spirit side so over here will uh, be their, their armor buff. Uh, their jungle armor buff, and we're going to try and steal that if we can. Uh, that there doesn't seem to be one. Uh, they're actually stealing our haste buff in the middle. That's a, a bit of a setback, but I should be fine. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any uh, any one given jungle route yet, as far as I can as far as I can tell. And I prefer, from my experience, I prefer to go and steal their buffs just to be annoying, essentially, and ruin their jungler. Uh, so we're gonna try and get this armor buff right here. Then we'll get our own attack buff and then well we can't get our haste buff but that's the plan normally then uh, move towards the middle and get the haste buff and clear that out that just seems to work the best for me we have way too many people at top now though um, but yeah you just need a bit of uh, help from your actual top lane to cover you so you don't actually get killed normally from my experience they don't go for your haste buff as they are doing now they do i believe have an actual developer in their team there i think that alpha Tuna is a, is a developer, uh, so they probably know what is up, which is not that great for us, but I guess it should make things a bit more exciting. I picked Vanquish here as a spell. It basically uh, allows me to... Let's attack these creeps. It basically allows me to nuke them down rather quickly and make sure I get the last hit on them. And just so you jungle quicker. And I pick the uh, third ability for a lot of sustain. We are, of course, playing Moya. Moya is a very good jungler, or hunter, as it's called in Dawngate. Uh, their Amaranth is so low, we might actually be able to get them right now if we intercept them. If we all go there, Nissa, Nissa, Nissa is not going there. Oh, uh, Cerulean, please don't die. That'd be bad now, okay. Uh, now we're way outnumbered though, so we can't do this. We might be able to get their Cerulean, but I highly doubt it. We don't have any disables or slows right now. I didn't pick my first ability yet, because it's not necessarily not necessary during uh, jungling. Yeah, okay. Well, let's move back and get our actual attack buff then. So, abilities-wise, Moya is a melee bruiser. She uh, has quite a bit of disables and just does quite a bit of damage, but the great thing is she has such great sustain early on, which probably makes her the best jungler in the game as of right now. And as you can see, I'm basically spamming the heck out of uh, my E ability there. So that third ability is called Recharge, and it, as I said, it basically allows you to do extra damage, extra physical damage on your next basic attack, and it heals Moya. Or if you combine it with your first dash attack, which is called Bolt, you'll uh, do even more bonus damage and heal for even more for every enemy you hit. Uh, Shock, the uh, second ability I picked up here, which is my second ability, actually allows me to do more damage on basic attacks and also reduces movement speed of enemies if I hit them, or if I combine it with Bolt, I'll do bonus physical damage and also stun my enemies. So it's all about using your abilities at the right times and combining them at the right times. In addition, as you may have noticed, I'm trying to cast Recharge and Shock right after doing a basic attack because it does reset the uh, the attack timer. So you can basically do a basic attack, then quickly a Recharge or a Shock to just kill things more quickly. So you basically want to be doing this. Normally, as I said, I want to go for their armor, then our attack, and then our haste buff in the middle and just clear out the middle. But again, they took our haste. But normally you want to just immediately after getting your attack buff go towards the middle from what I noticed this just seems to work the best during jungling. Uh, and then you want to be farming until you are around level 6 because then you get your ultimate which is called landfall where you basically grab an enemy shaper with a little charge then you jump throw them into the air. Uh, and uh, during that, it's for two seconds that you're airborne, essentially, where they can't do anything. You can still be hit by area of effect damage, though, so you got to be careful for that. And then you basically land on the ground. And during it all, you can decide where you want to land. You can recast landfall again to change the, um, the landing location where you'll land. Man. 
So I think it's about time we pick Bolt actually. Let's let's just go ahead and do that. You of course want to get it if you want to actually get some some ganking going on and get some get some of them awesome shaper kills, but also just for survivability, I guess. In uh, in Donge jungling is relatively safe though because everyone starts with wards, so even in these random group games you'll still have plenty of wards going around. I haven't actually placed my ward now. As you can see, it's uh it's I could place one right now, but I actually want to place it in there. What is that? That is their attack buff at the bottom there. If I can do that, so I'm just saving it up for that. I didn't forget it. I'm just purposely not using it yet. Okay? Okay. So let's just get our own armor buff first. I actually completely forgot to mention what items I started with. I went with the resilience item for some armor, and I also have the armor loadout. And uh, as you can see, Vanquish actually skills with your level, so you'll be doing more damage with Vanquish the, the higher level you are. So you always want to keep these health bars of the uh, enemy jungle creeps in mind so you can quickly last hit these. I probably should have saved it for theirs though, because it's a bit more risky, but that's fine. That's an enemy Cerulean. Are you gonna come over here, buddy? Are you? He, he used Tillwind. He is coming over here. Okay, let's get him with a shock and bolt comp. No, he launched me. Let's get him with a shock and bolt comp. No, he's out of range. Oh, come on. He's slowing me down. I think I can I can still get him though. He's actually trying to fight me for some reason. I can easily win this with recharge. Uh, if I can do a shock and bolt combo, come on. There we go. As you can see, it stunned him. And now I should be able to get some fresh Cerulean meat. And uh, I'm not quite sure why he went up here. He probably wanted to get our armor buff, but... I was there first. So now I'm gonna steal their attack buff. So the reason I'm killing these money pigs is because they do exactly what says on the box. They give you lots of money, or vim to be a bit more exact. Uh, we are level 6, I do have landfall now so I could try and gank a bit but there hasn't really been any good potential here at the bottom so I think I'm just gonna go back. Let's have a quick look here. Is anything going on? Doesn't seem like much is going on, they're just... No, I'm just gonna go back. So the first item you want to be getting is Pride into Glory. It gives you a lot of health, a lot of armor, and most of all, just a ton of AoE damage. Then you want to go for Hunger, Consumption, and Veracity for just more power and lifesteal and sustain, essentially. So I can't quite get Glory yet, so I'm just gonna go get Hunger for some more sustain. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go get the uh, Haste buff in the middle now, before they steal it again, those bastards. There, yeah, let's just go get that. There hasn't really been any good ganking potential yet, sadly. You really normally want to wait till you're around level 6 and then you can start looking for good ganks. So one thing that's very nice about Pride and eventually Glory is that jungling just becomes a ton easier with your AoE damage, but you can really easily harass the enemy spirit wells with this, which is something you do want to actively be doing for that extra bit of vim and more importantly to st essentially prevent the enemy from getting more vim over time. So I don't think we can really do anything here against a Desecrator and Varian. They probably have this warded. Let's have a look. Yep, yep, they have it warded, that's for sure. Um, so bottom is very pushed, sadly, so we can't really go ganking there. It doesn't seem to be anything happening here, so I'm just gonna go get our... Yeah, I'm just gonna go get our attack buff here. I don't want to go and get their armor buff now, because it would be very risky with, with them being so aware of my presence. I would say it's about time we do a little bit of ganking here, if Nissa wouldn't run away. Let's do a quick shock and bolt action here. Okay, so really move them out of the way. Uh, screw it, let's just get Desecrator with Landfall. Come on, there we go, let's place him right in front of Cerulean, right in front of Nissa, and we should be able to do this. There we go, easy enough. Freya is actually getting our spirit well, so we might as well pay her a little bit of a visit and make this a 3 for nothing. If we can, if she didn't run away. Uh, a lot of, a little bit of stutter here. Beta is beta. Freya. She's probably behind here, isn't she? Yep, she's teleporting. Let's make sure she doesn't. And that should be, she feared me. Whatever, that should be a pretty easy kill. I don't think she can kill. No, no, she can't kill really. Your spirit well is under attack. Um, well, that was uh, quite successful. Three for nothing, right? Yeah. Let's go steal their armor buff if Freya didn't quite get An this yet. It looks like she did, so let's just go and get this spirit well then. Should be easy enough now that we have pride. And of course, the fact that they're all dead over here should make things quite a bit easier too. But that aside. Oh, although it looks like Desecrator's already back up for round two. I guess this is where we do the dance of the spirit well, where I try to get him the heck away, but... 
Uh, as you can see, I can't actually capture this while he's this close, and I don't think he's gonna leave. In fact, I think Varian is coming this way. Yep, Varian is coming this way, so let's make sure we get away from this location. Nissa is pretty close, though, but I don't think we can do this until Cerulean comes over here. Right. Doesn't seem like they're chasing me at all, actually. Do they? No. They seem to be gone. Um, so, let's try again. Yeah, Desecrator's underneath this binding. Varian, I should be able to kill on my own, as long as Desecrator doesn't come over here. Varian doesn't seem to be here, though, so let's just try and see if we can get this binding. Once more, yeah, they're back on their, in their lane. Significantly less work as the kill, sadly. I hope Cerulean doesn't come in this binding range, because if he can stay hidden here, we should be able to kill them quite easily. One of them's coming over here. Varian is, Varian is coming over here, he's taking the bait. Uh, let's just, oh, Freya, okay, I think I can get Freya one-on-one, -on -one, and Cerulean's coming over here as well, so this should be pretty easy. Should be able to kill her. I do have landfall in a few seconds. Don't want to die from Varian's ultimate, though. Uh, I do kind of want to get this before we continue. Let's just make sure I get this. A lot of little stutters. Go away, stutters. Okay, I do have landfall. I should be able to grab one of them, and we can easily kill them. Although, now I'm just getting hit by all their skill shots, because for some reason I'm dodging. Yeah, yeah, I should be dodging. Okay, this is a bad idea, let's move away from here then. Nissa is not really going as smart. Nope, Nissa is going to get killed if she... Yeah, Nissa's gonna go down. We might be able to get Desecrator. Yeah, we can definitely get him if Varian leaves for some reason. Let's go get ourselves a Desecrator then. Let's stun him right here. I do still have Landfall. I missed Landfall for some reason. Because apparently I didn't look at the range correctly. Can I get this before I die? Yes, I can. Well, well, if Cerulean makes this, I'm gonna say it's worth it. And because I said so, it is. And it looks like Cerulean is actually doing a pretty good. No, no, never mind. Um, no, that that was not worth it. Three, four, one. Well, we got a spirit. Well, I guess so. You know. Oh, I suppose we also killed Freya, right? So. Two. Two for me, and one death. Although Varian got all the kills, at least on me and Cerulean, so that's not very good. He is, of course, a ranged carry. We don't really want carries to get any money, because that means they'll kick our asses. Although, talking about kicking asses, the amazing Dibs just flew in, and they might actually be able... Wow. Yep, that's a little bit of a nuke from Dibs and Nissa there. Okay, well, I guess that evens things up again. They did a little skill Cerulean, their Cerulean, at, uh, at our binding. So I suppose we're pretty even at this point. Let's uh, get another spell here. Wither is very nice. It, of course, slows enemies and also means they do less damage. Which is very nice because we are, of course, a melee bruiser. So we want to be able to catch up more properly than we already can with our with our bolt and landfall abilities. Um, I don't think we can get Amaranth here, can we? I don't have landfall yet. No, let's, let's see if we can get there. Oh, actually, that is a very... Free Freya. Thank you, Dibs. Much appreciated. Gotta love Dibs. Always a good guy, Dibs. Um, can we get Cerulean or Amaranth? Still don't have Landfall, so I doubt it. Just kind of want to hang around here. Just in case. That's Cerulean. Let's actually get away from here. Cerulean can grab me. Amaranth can stun me. It's a pretty ugly sight if that happens. What we could do here, though, is wait for Cerulean, who just captured their spirit well. Um, I don't have Landfall yet, though. Let's, uh... This really is not coming in. Let's inform our little companions here. Because, uh... It's quite important to have landfall, of course. And if they go in without me having landfall, that could very well mean the death of one of us. Which should be... Should be avoidable. So can, oh, damn. There we go. That's an ugly side. But luckily I got landfall now, so I should be able to grab Cerulean. Get him all the way over this side. Dibs is coming in. We should be able to nuke him back. I'm just gonna try and run here. He did use his ult on me. I think I should be fine. Use Till Wind as well. I'm out of range though. So they should be able to kill him now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, Amaranth used her ultimate and made it out as well. So yeah, there we go. Let's just actually go back now though before something even worse happens. Let's get some items here. I do want to get Rampancy as well. Rampancy, of course, gives you health back if you are assist or kill something. And as we are trying to gank as much as possible, that is quite crucial. Oh, back at the top lane, the fun, fun top lane. Can't get this spirit wall yet. We can show these workers who's boss, though. Yeah, look at them. Look at them. Poor workers. Um, let's, uh... How much going on? There's a Desecrator. 
Okay, he's following me. I cannot stun him. I can maybe slow him, though. Very use this ult. I do still have landfall, so I'm not that worried. Although they seem to be running away. Let's go kill these creeps, then. Um, I do actually have an idea if he comes... Yeah, if he comes close, I might be able to grab him right through the terrain here with landfall. There we go! Okay, let's get him all the way on the other side. If they notice, we can easily get him. And there we go. Quick bolt. Uh, he doesn't seem amused. Hacker. Yep. Yep, them lead hacks. An enemy binding has been destroyed. I... You gotta love mobile players. Um, that was clearly hacking though. I, um, he totally saw right through me there. All hex. Okay, well. That was... I don't think he has ever fought Moya before. Um, let's get these little... Let's get these little money pigs. And we got their binding as well. Yeah, that was quite successful, all in all. They didn't get... Did they get our... Yes, Q2, although that does have a, a lot shorter range, of course. If you didn't know yet, you can actually charge through terrain. You can do it at virtually every charge, though, so it's really nothing amazing. It's no lead hacking that I'm doing right here. Oh, they're being so aggressive right now. I think we have Cerulean and Nissa. Yeah, they're coming down here, so if they go in, we might be able to... And Cerulean does. He's gonna go in on Dibs. Let's go save Dibs. Let's go stun him. That was a double stun. Bit of a waste, but whatever. Uh, actually, Freya is more important. Let's dash towards her, and she's dead. Let's get Varian. Uh, if I hit him with Lanfa, that would have been better, but still. Is this where I cue the Benny Hill theme, or what the... Come on here, you know you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, this is, I don't think we can get this crater right now. Don't have any... Varian is having the time of his life right now. I don't think we can ignore people yet in Donkey, can we? No, I don't think that functionality is quite in the beta yet. We should be able to get this binding quite easily, I think. Just Desecrator. Yeah, just Desecrator. Uh, can we actually... We might be able to actually jump Desecrator, but... Oh, I'm just getting it by everything now. This is getting... We're, we're just doing dumb things. We have no creeps. We need to... Why are we all going in? This is dumb. This is all just dumb. I mean, <laughs> just look at his health. We're not gonna get Desecrated with all those stuns. That was, that was very special, what we just did there. I guess we might as well give them a bit more of a chance there by doing dumb things like that. We could have had that binding, I think. But why focus on the binding when you can kill a tank that stuns everyone and then not kill him? That is, of course, what true tactical masterminds do. My oh my, this is looking quite familiar. Let's go get in here. Let's get that M. That was a waste, but whatever. Let's get that Freya. And we can get that binding for good now. Let's not do dumb things this time, although I think Desecrator is dead. No, Desecrator is Desecrator is alive, so we can still screw this up by doing dumb things. We might still uh, still do that. Let's see. Let's not tank this tower, for instance. There's Desecrator. Let's uh, scare him off a little bit. Let's not get hit this time. I think we should be able to scare him. There's Varian actually. So let's just quickly get that binding. There we go. I don't really think they stand much of a chance at this point. We do have them beat pretty badly at this point. Maybe I can actually... No, 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 it's Cerulean. Let's just move back here and do the the same thing. Although Cerulean does seem to be chasing dibs, we can have none of that, of course. Although now we're damaging him quite a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to chase. Maybe we can get the top lane... What is... Are they? Yeah, they're all at the bottom. Oh, but everyone's coming back. Let's just kill these creeps and go back ourselves then, I guess. I think that Amaranth is probably trying to bait us, but I think we can... Yeah, with Stasis even. I think we can nuke her in time, though. They're coming this way. See Freya. There's a Desecrator. Let's move out of the way of his silly, silly good crowd control. Let's not get hit by that. It's Varian. Oh, I, I just don't want to nuke Varian down, though. If Cerulean's gonna go in... Yeah, let's just go for Varian. Let's see, we do a lot of... this Freya. I do have Landfall. Can I hit? Yes, I can. Let's... Line up a bolt charge here. There we go, that's Varian. Freya's getting nuked, dips arrived. We can still get Freya. It's really an ulted. Uh, just Desecrator, we still got, we got three of them so far. Let's make it a four. Come on, Nissa. Oh, of course I get grabbed. Of course I get hit. Come on, more bolts. I need more bolts. Who's... More bolts. Just gonna slow him with the charge. And there we go. Okay, just one of them left. Well, I, someone respawned now. Let's see, we got Freya dead, Varian dead, and Desecrator dead at this point. So we can probably go kill the Parasite in the middle. 
Um, I'm just gonna heal up a little bit on these haste buff here, on the haste buff. Because of course I do get uh, I do get health back if I kill creeps and just simply with recharge. So I think I should be fine now in killing the parasite. If they want to come over here and still do it. Yeah, they're in their base, Amaranth and Varian, just notice them on the map. If everyone comes over, you can easily kill the parasite. Parasite of course gives us a very nice buff that should make this way easier to, uh, to finish. He does have a lot of skills that we need to be dodging though, as you can see there. Because uh, he actually does a, a decent amount of damage. And he also levels up. He physically changes in terms of looks and I think abilities as, uh, as time progresses. But there we go, that's Parasite dead with a very scary long neck. And I think we should be fine to just push the victory at this point. Aren't we all nice and cozy here in the bushes? If we were all here, we probably just could uh, win right now, though. Just pushing towards the tower. Uh, Nissa is, of course, pushing top, though. Let's not die here. Oh, well, they surrendered. So I guess that's that. Thank you for watching this Dawngate match with Moya. As always, my name is Ben Huss, and I'll see you in the next video. All because of the hex, though. All because of the hex.